Welcome to one more example of converting a repeating decimal to a fraction. For this example, we have 4.0536 with just the three and six repeating. For step one, we set the repeating decimal equal to x. So we'll leave off the four for right now and set x equal to 0 0.0536 with the three and six repeating. This is step one and therefore let's call this equation one. For step two, if needed, we multiply both sides of the equation by multiples of 10 until just the repeating digits are to the right of the decimal. So right now notice how the zero and five to the right do not repeat. We want to form a decimal where we just have the repeating digits of three and six to the right. Notice to do this, we need to move the decimal two places to the right, which is equivalent to multiplying by 100. So for equation two or step two, we multiply both sides of the equation by 100. 100 times x is 100x, and 0 0.0536 with the three six repeating times 100 is 5.36 with the three and six repeating. Again, this is formed by moving the decimal two places to the right. Step three, we now form another equation by multiplying both sides of the equation from step one or step two by multiples of 10 so that one set of the repeating digit or digits are now to the left of the decimal. So looking at the decimal here where we have 5.36 repeating, we now want a three and six to the left of the decimal. To do this, we need to move the decimal two places to the right, which again is equivalent to multiplying by 100. So now we multiply both sides of the equation two by 100. So for equation three, 100 times 100x is equal to 10,000x. And 100 times 5.36 with the three and six repeating is equal to 536.36 with the three and six repeating. Again, notice now we do have, notice how we do have one set of the repeating digits of three and six to the left of the decimal. Step four, we now subtract the equation from step two from the equation from step three. So beginning with equation three, we have 10,000 x equals 536.36 repeating. And now we subtract equation two, which means we subtract 100 x on the left, and we subtract 5.36 repeating on the right. And now subtracting, 10,000 x minus 100 x is equal to 9,900 x equals on the right, 536.36 repeating minus 5.36 repeating is equal to 531. And now we solve for x by dividing both sides by 9,900. Simplifying this quotient is one, one times x is x. We have x equals 531 9,000 nine hundredths, but this fraction does simplify. 531 and 9,000 nine hundred share a common factor of nine. So to simplify, we divide the numerator and denominator by nine. 531 divided by nine is equal to 59, and 9,000 nine hundred divided by nine is equal to 1,100. So now we know x which is a repeating decimal is equal to 59 one thousand one hundredths, which means 4.0536 with the three and six repeating is equal to four plus the repeating decimal, which you now know is equal to 59 one thousand one hundredths, or as a mixed number, we have four and 59 one thousand one hundredths. So this is the mixed number for the repeating decimal. If we want this in fraction form or as an improper fraction, the denominator remains 1,100, and the numerator is 1,100 times four plus 59, which is equal to 4,459. And of course, we can verify this on the calculator by taking 4,459 and dividing by 1,100 and notice how this does give us the original decimal of 4.0536,
with the 3 and 6 repeating. Just be aware in the rightmost digit the calculator is rounding. I hope you found this helpful.